Hey, welcome to Five Lakes Garage, the home of random projects. We have lists, we have Jeeps, we have trucks, we have food. You name it, we got it. So help out the channel by just hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you really like the video, like it and then tell a friend. But stay tuned, enjoy yourself. I'm gonna let you go because I got stuff to do. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Five Lakes Garage. And of course, today we're fixing something. This is like we did last time. That's what we do. Went on vacation, came back, and yes, there was a few things broken. The van fixed that. That's actually good to go. Uh, CFO is really happy. Uh, and then also the robot for the for the pool. It's not roboting anymore. Uh, it's not cleaning. Uh, basically, if you uh, I put loosely back together because I did take it apart to figure out exactly what's wrong with it but if you listen yeah those are ball bearings I picked up some new ones and that's what the new ones look like and basically we're just going to change all the ball bearings out and once I pull this apart I'm going to show you exactly why we need those ball bearings so anyway this is a Polaris 380 um, it cleans the pool very nicely when it actually works not working properly anyway uh let's tear into this thing and i'll show you exactly what we need to be replacing all right so we got ourselves a drill and in order to get this guy apart you got two screws bow bow right there and that starts the chain reaction for everything else we just pull those out all right always keep them together so once you got those two out this little piece comes right off and then the whole top can come off. Yeah, that's right. All right, so why do we need a bearing? Well, if you take a look at this right here. Yeah, that doesn't work. So if I hold this, it doesn't rotate around because that bearing is toast. So what we need to do is actually get these guys off and this will get these two tires off. And then we have screws down here at the bottom which will actually take this entire case off. But before we do that, we need to take our nozzle off which is three little screws, one, two, and three. Let's get those off. There we go. All right, so there is an O-ring right down here in which I need to get a pair of needle nose because I just dropped it. There we go. All right, it gets sealed by this little dinky little O-ring. Uh, this one's actually in pretty good shape, so I'm just gonna reuse this one. So I still have it on there, and now we're ready to put this aside. All right, so let's go ahead and get the wheels off and then we can actually get the whole case off. All right, one other thing that I did forget, sorry. In order to get these wheels off, you gotta take these little caps off. As you can see, I've already replaced the wheel. It's a different color. All right, you pull your caps off, and then they have these little C uh, clips. You gotta get those guys off. So you can take a screwdriver, or in my case, I'm gonna take my knife. Put it down in there, pull them right out. There you go, pull them down. Just put them right inside your little cap so you do not lose them. And if we do lose them, I got some more downstairs. We're good. There we go, so now we have a tire. Comes with the rubber on the outside and also has the bearing that is actually attached, well the gear that's attached to the wheel. This is what broke on me last time, that's fine. But we got a bearing right there. We got a bearing right there. We should have enough to replace them all. But we'll see. Same thing on that one. All right. More pieces. Don't forget to keep the screws. Well, I'm just going to leave that one in. All right. Also keep in mind that uh, you do have, these are the, the belts that actually rotate the wheels. Uh, they are, got ribs on it. Can't really get it wrong because one's gonna fit and the other one isn't. The other one isn't. 
Yeah, it's really sweating. You have to keep it together, that's what you said. That's what I said, I know. Alright. Now you take the entire assembly off. Man, I got pieces everywhere. Alright, so basically how this thing works is if um, this guy right here is what the water actually goes through. So this is like a big water wheel. So you ro rotate that really fast, but it's geared down so low, so then it moves the wheels. Now our problem, now here's the root of all of our issues right now. All right, you see, that's missing. Yeah, it's just a wobbly duck in there. So that's what we're gonna replace first. But let's make sure that this guy actually fits. It would suck if it didn't. Look at that, she fits. Oh, that's so much better. Let's go ahead and replace a few more. Found it. All right, let's see if I can get this guy out. All right, so just got the old one out. Put a new one in. I'm sure, she's somewhat clean. Now the good thing about these, they just use a little bit of force, they snap right in. Put my C-clip back on. Bam. All right, those two are replaced. Look at that action on that baby. Oh, this is gonna clean up everything. It's gonna be awesome. Got C clips everywhere. All right, so take out your shaft. And don't forget the orientation of your gears. There you go. All right, so I'm glad I did take it out because look at that. That bearing is destroyed. Okay, it's a new day. I got new clothes on and guess what? Yeah, we broke more parts. You know how I was trying to say, hey, be careful when you try to get this out? Yeah, apparently the bearing doesn't come out of it. So what happened was, yeah, I, I broke it. Yeah, this one was my bad. I needed to get a different one anyway, only because the bearing apparently is stuck inside and it comes in the same package. So I bought another one. I checked online and it was gonna be anywhere from 15, 20 bucks, you know, to get it here. It's gonna take about four or five days to get here. So I was patient. I know it's a new concept for me, but I waited for Rising Sun Pools to open. Guess what? They had it in stock and it was only 13 bucks. Look at that. That's right, Polaris. All right, so let's get this thing back together. Let's go ahead and replace all the bearings that we need to replace put the wheels back on because we need to get it into the pool because the pool is getting nasty. It's been like almost a week since this thing's broke. So yeah, take a look. All right, so we still have our case. Got two bearings, already been replaced. We're in good shape there. This goes on the outside, not a bearing there, but there is a bearing right there. So we can get it out. There we go. Sure, we get the bearing, put it in there the correct way, correct orientation. So we got one right there. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh yeah. Oh, they're just popping out now. There we go. So replace the bearing here. Here. Looks like I need a clip right there. Put a clip in. There we go. All right, simple little C-clip, goes right into the groove right there so it does not come out. There we go. Oh, that sounds so beautiful. Let's find out, an, let's find another one. I wanna change another one. So replace, replace. We can stick that guy back in. Here's our uh, turbine wheel. Here's our, our uh, other wheel. So these two will ride on the same shaft right here in the middle. So we're gonna stick that guy in just like so where's my shaft there's my shaft so let's get some of the garbage off of it yeah so we're gonna stick this guy through one bearing 
through the turbine wheel, through the next gear, all the way out to the other side. Maybe. There we go. Seems to be spaced okay. All right, so one of those little caps <clears throat> actually go right up here on top of the bearing to keep your gear from rubbing against the side. So we're gonna stick the gear on. We're gonna go ahead and grab another one of our C-clips. So now we have our C-clip on. That is so much better than it was before. So we are actually in good shape. So the, uh, the wheel itself will actually slide onto this guy right here. And then you put your C-clip on that side. But before we do that, we're gonna put it into the case. So let's grab our case. All right, so there's a couple things you need to do before you put these things together. First, you need to keep your bottom down. So you have a little bit of a, uh, yeah, a little tab. There should be a tab within your, whoops, backwards. That actually holds into it. All right, so you have your little weight down here at the bottom. Before you put this guy in, you got to put your uh, guard back in. This will actually help with the flow of water through your turbine. So you can stick that in there and then you stick this guy on top. And I learned if you tilt it to the front, get it past the guard, then she slides right into place. All right. Now, before we actually screw this thing down, we do need to do one other thing. Let's go ahead and put our belts on or else it's going to be really hard to get on once you get this thing done. Now, the longer one goes to the front and the short one goes to the back. Plain and simple, only because that's your axle for the rear. It's close, so we're going to put the close one in. All right, now just keep in mind that there is a small piece of plastic in between the two belts. So make sure you get that in the middle. It basically just keeps the two from walking all over the place. There we go. All right, so you got your two wheels. They come in that, do we have any more? I do. All right, let's go ahead and swap out these bearings real quick, since I have new ones. There we go, just use a screw. Should be able to get them out. There you go. Stick your new ones in. Easy peasy. This one's ready to go back in. All right. So before you put your wheel on, you need to put your spacer on. There we go. Now that's gonna keep this bearing from the side of the case. There go. Once you get your wheel on, get your little keeper, stick your side piece back on. Gotta keep it pretty, right? Yeah. Sweat like a heathen. All right, so let's get the front one off. Same thing as the other. We're just gonna grab a hold of a screw, pull out your bearing. Should have two of them, one on the inside, one on the outside. This should be the last bearing that we have to be able to install it. Now, don't forget your washer, once again. But I took the front shaft out, so let's put it back in. Make sure all that is in there, all loose, nothing's real tight. Got my bearings in. Let's check your parts, make sure you don't have anything that needs to go in there. We got the cap for the other, other uh, wheel. Okay, I think we're in good shape. We can actually screw this guy down now. All right, so now you got everything inside. Everything is lined up. Now let's go ahead and cinch down our wheel hubs now most of these screws are going to have well, actually all of them should have your little washer right there make sure you have those on there unfortunately i've already lost a few all right so what you want to do this has a little bit of play on there so you want to put a little bit of tension on that on the uh the belt so just push it forward with your finger tighten it up now you don't want to have too much tension on there but you want to have some if you don't have enough, it falls off. If you have too much, it breaks. And you don't want to go back into this thing again. Do the same thing to the back. There we go. 
Let's check it. That works so much better. Oh my gosh, you just don't understand. Because I really do not want to have to go through and hand clean that pool. There we go. All right, so you stick this through to the other side, grab a sole, grab yourself your last C clip. We're almost done. Hey, look, all the wheels rotate in the right direction. Imagine that. All right, so now we're gonna put our nozzle back on. Make sure that you have your your O-ring right here. You can put some grease on it if you really want to. I didn't think it was that close of a squeeze. So I'm not gonna put any on there unless I have trouble getting it in. And then I'm gonna lubricate it. There we go. You need three screws. One, two, three. Stick it right in the side. Damn, almost ready. Look at that. So, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Sorry, I don't know that song all the way. All right, got your cover back on. Oh my gosh, I am just getting tired of doing this over and over again. I forgot this part, don't forget it. Because it goes down in there. So luckily we only have to take off this one screw. There we go. All right, that's what she looks like on the inside. You got the uh, turbine needs to be completely encased. It's almost just like a turbo in a car. So the water wheel is gonna go around, which pushes the tires, which has the jets and all that good stuff, and then it cleans. So let's put the top cover back on. And what really amazes me is that all of this gets held on by this one little piece. There we go. She got, you should have two screws left. So you can find those two screws. There we go. So you got one screw there and one screw there. Let's find the other screw. All right. Two screws in. Get some of your sand off. And then you don't you kind of need your little floaty thing in the back. Just slide that guy on. Bam, she is ready to go back in the pool. All right, so she is completely put together. Two screws in the back, put your little floaty on, you're ready to hook up your hose, put your net back on, and ready to clean your pool. So hopefully this will actually give you an idea really quick of how to fix one of these. It's very simple, very easy. The parts aren't that expensive. If you buy the whole thing, yeah, they're pretty darn expensive. Uh, I was seeing them anywhere from like $300 used to you know $600 new kind of crazy so uh get out in the shop fix your own stuff get online go to your local pool place go ahead and get the parts and be able to put them in there it is very simple very easy to do and you got you got to get your uh, your robot working because hand cleaning sucks anyway like subscribe all that good stuff go ahead and put down some comments whether or not you liked it or not uh maybe i should do something different i don't know just let me know i'd like to hear from you guys so I'm going to go put it in the pool and let's see how it works. Later.